Uh, yeah. Boop! For real. Back with another freaking video, man. Guess who I got over here trying to cheat? Oh. What's going on, guys? Back at it. Mouth is healing so much better. I think I'm coming in for the home stretch, but the pain is down to a minimum now. Face is going down. Yeah. Still a little puffy over here, but time to rock and roll because the show must go on. Plus, Jessie May. She had to go. Have y'all seen her? She had to go to uh, Mexico and dip out for the week or for the weekend. Check on Uncle Jethro because he's just trying to chill. He ain't trying to come up right now. So yeah, he may come up here. He but may, she'll, may get she'll be back. She'll be back next week. Yeah. So and she, yeah, she and she ain't nothing but an hour and forty two minutes away from where she lives. So she just drive and come well, back and forth and stuff like. I mean, where well, yeah. we live. So she just drive and come back and forth. So right. hey, so listen, listen. Did you hear about um, Chicago and now they're going to be the purge? The purge. State? That's crazy. Get ready is what they're saying. Bruh. I, I, when I saw this, I was like, I want to know, is it going to be as bad as people saying it is? Or is this one of those things where they puff it up and make it look really scary and when they really don't even, you know, it might not even look that scary. But based on the the, the, the understanding of it, it seems kind of, it seems kind of like, ooh. It is. You because know what I'm saying? Because now people are going to have to move different. They're going to have to move different. They're going to have to move different. And the question is, is this going to ignite a chain reaction across the Other United states. states in regards to needing to be able to do this same thing as well. I know I need to do my research because I need to see um, is Chicago, because I know Chicago had be having some crime crime, and I know a lot of places have crime crime, but they be having crime crime. And I wonder is it because their crime is out of control and they don't have enough office to police the, how much crime goes on, so they're like, we can't even, they just we just gonna have to let them, and I and I'm basically, when you do, when they doing it the way they're doing it, that means these people are going to harm each other and take each other out anyway. And that's how they're looking at it. They're like, well, we can't detain them, but they're going to do, they're going to hurt themselves. And, but, and other people, which is a problem. That's crazy. Let's listen to this real quick. Let's go. The movie The Purge was crazy, y'all, but it, it, it could be a real situation. It's scary to think. You need some um, corn. And corn. you need to stop corn. judging me. Corn. Husk stop judging me for them crusted Ain't no, uh, stinking corn husk smell like vaseline motor oil stop it. all right let's get it though those peeping toms come in uninvited force their way into your homes yep through your computer Somehow they find an open door, back door way in, and bam. Next thing you know, bank passcodes don't work anymore, phone is locked, email passwords have been changed. You are in a frantic panic state. The worst is going through your mind, and it's happened. I didn't eat that. The fastest growing crime in America, and every 14 seconds, there's a new victim. The question is, will the next victim be you? I'm proud to be in partner with today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. A win-win. You can beat those digital peeping toms quick and right away with Aura. Protect your family and yourself from identity theft with Aura. Join the 14 day free trial at www.aura.com forward slash SIBO and SNAPA. As of January 1st, 2023, the that following scary. things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to. I'm sorry, this, the high app, when they put that purge sign on it, yes. that sounds creepy. Oh. It's like, okay, you are tuned in. That sounds so creepy. You are tuned in. Kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. That, what's, what's the shake? What's that? <laughs> That's crazy. It denies victims their constitutional rights. 
And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residents, or your businesses. So what? Wait. What? What? Oh, I, I get it. Purge for real now, every man for himself. So you're saying somebody can live, be living back there in my boat. Because that, that actually happened. That was the case when a guy broke broke free and then he was living in the boat. They can live in a boat. I call the police. They're like, you can't do nothing about it. That's like how L.A. is. L.A. is like that to a degree. Remember, they're like that with, with traffic and car accidents. Out here, it's not. Well, but it's going to be a fatality. Do you have to die. Where, yeah. But if somebody hits your car, they tell you you can deal with it yourself. Yeah. So that's crazy to deal with a with somebody who might... And they have already, then they're already a convicted felon. Bro, let's let's. Could decide to live in your shed, and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required. So he said, all we can do is give them a ticket. Here you go. You go back there, just take your ticket, pay it, pay it on Wednesday in the back of somebody's house. No, that is unheard of. This takes it to a whole nother level of the game. That is crazy. I feel like according. I feel like now, according to the word, this these this is a weapon of mass destruction because yeah, of course because now you are gonna leave it up to the to a human and what else? People gonna be getting killed left and right. Then population is about to decrease because you're not gonna be asking anybody you know questions. You don't know if this person is going to be ready to harm you or oh, what real? if they are on your property and they're not thinking twice about invading your property what else what's gonna make them not want to come come inside your house knowing that there's no police that's gonna be able to do anything about it well i will be saying i'll be 100 percent real which if i live in um, live in illinois i ain't gonna lie to you probably gun stock gonna go up go up 200 percent because i know it will with me and training house. and be able to uh self-defense because that's that's absolutely crazy, crazy. And whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Oil Park, Cook County, and Illinois. Mm. Yo, and I'm gonna, hey, and I was, and I want to get a, hold on, hold on, I ain't finished. I want to get a further understanding of, um, of what that means because sometimes they put these clips up and you don't have the in-depth meaning. You see the scary stuff, but then like, what is the detail? So uh -huh. it says the New Orleans, the I'm sorry, New um, Illinois Safety. They call it Safety. T Act eliminates cash bail and allows criminals to get out of jail free card. The criminal justice framework allows kidnappers, robbers, and arsonists to roam free until their court dates. Part of the law went into effect in 2021, and the rest of it will be in effect in January 2023. I want—I don't know how, how much part of it already went in effect. Rep. Rep. John um, Slaughter, the Chicago Democrat who carried the bill, said the Republicans who oppose it have a bad um, stench of racism. So that's a democratic bill that they allow. That's that's horrible. That's horrible. And that's that's that that is irresponsible choosing that. But many critics say that Illinois will become the crime capital of the nation and will soon be overrun by cartel. The drug enforcement agency note that Chicago already has a long history of organized crime and it's home to notorious street gangs that use illegal drugs to trade and build a criminal enterprise. Compound in Chicago crime problems is a steady supply of drug from Mexican drug cartel, most notably the, the Sinal cartel. Illicit drugs flow from Mexico to Chicago via a loose associated network of profit driven intermediaries with Chicago street gangs serving as a primary distributor at the street level. Mm. The profits earned through drug trafficking increases the staying power of both street gangs and drug trafficking organizations, thereby influencing levels of violent crimes in both the United States and Mexico. Of particular concern is the trafficking and distribution sorry, of heroin, heroin, which increased significantly in recent years has caused significant harm to communities in Chicago around the United States. The list of, fish, fish, uh, <laughs> the list of offenses oh, yeah. for which Illinois law enforcement cannot detain criminals includes aggravated battery, aggravated DUI, aggravate, aggravated DUI. You can you can DY and they can't do nothing with you. Give you a ticket. Aggravated fleeing, arson, burglary, drug induced homicide, homicide, intimidation, kidnapping, robbery, second degree murder, threatening a public official. You can threaten a judge. Second degree murder. Second degree murder. Robbery. And give you a ticket. And kidnapping. 
Oh, this is crazy. The Safety Act says defendants of these lesser crime, lesser crimes, some such as drug crimes, are presumed eligible for pretrial release unless prosecutors present clear and convincing ed- evidence that shows the suspect poses a threat to a specific and identifiable person. Prosecutors will be required to actually request detention and the state of Illinois is required to hold a hearing within 48 hours of apprehension to determine if the suspect should be released. Investigators say that they will not have time they need to compile the evidence from surveillance and body cameras, crime labs, and forensic analysts. I'm going to stop right there. So that's saying if we get this in enough time in 48 hours, we can we can, we can can present the evidence going. Chicago is got you got more crime, you got more officers. When are they gonna have the time to do that? Well, when are they gonna have the time? And I was just Some, thinking too as help, you was reading that. Help, that me, help me understand. Hold on, hold on. Let me switch back. So, when are they gonna have the time? I was thinking that they. Yeah, I just have to up. say that. I'm I, sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, it ain't switching. It's supposed to switch over. Anyway. Um, how, how are they going to be able to just let these people go? Second degree murder, um, robbery and kidnapping. Those are high. That's not something light to play with. But what's crazy. I mean, even from a level of DUI, babe, you can, you be drunk as a skunk. You kill somebody. What? I mean, well, I guess if you don't, I guess you don't. But what if you're on a verge you about to kill somebody because you, you skunk drunk and they just give you a ticket? And this must be coming from also it being overpopulated and not having enough guards. I mean, so many things come in, can come into play. We need to really dive in and read a little bit more into this and see what else they're saying about it because that's where is the rationale in that? There's got to be some other rationale in it besides letting them go jail too crowded not enough not enough resources not enough people to man it we know somebody who was a political chicago police officer and they used to tell how many the body bag count where it used to be unlimited like they just it just bodies would be all over right. and that's and then you have a, a area like that and i and don't get me wrong i'm been to chicago chicago's beautiful in certain areas that's tough but been to chicago and it is, it is beautiful, but this aspect is kind of like, to me, is kind of overpowering. That's every place you go to, you're going to have your nice areas, and then you're going to have your areas that are not so nice. You're going to have your high-profile areas, you're going to have your, you know, impoverished areas. That's just, you know, society. However, you know, I really feel that there's got to be some more facts that we're missing here, because I just don't see the rationale and the logic. Like, what is the upside of this? Because I don't hear an upside. Exactly. What well, is the you know, upside? Well, you know what the upside is? People don't have to, they might not have to work as hard as they did. Because now we not even, once once we let these people, we're going to let these people out. But all these people that fit into this criteria of new, we don't have to go to these people. That that drops down your crime level and your having to monitor, police monitor, a uh, significant a lot, lot less. Unless, it's, lot. Unless, it's, unless these people are on the extreme end of these types of crime, but it seems like if it's on the low end, they're not going to do anything. And they're giving other human beings the ability to say whether they're going to take somebody's life or not based off of whatever this thing, one of those types of situations. Because that's what the guy said. But he then, said that it's going to be up to you to determine what level of force you're going to use on these people that's busting in your door, could be trying to kidnap you. But that's crazy Robbing because you. that just that give, that means somebody that gives a person want to live back in the back and they super dangerous. That give them they have the right to be back there basically. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, that ain't it, man. That's I, I'm not agreeing with that 100. I, I, I do want to do a dive into it a little bit more. I was starting to read, you know, um, I think I saw this on Twitter first, uh, or was it Instagram? But anyway, I want to dive into more dive into more because it's got to be a rationale and reason that they're doing this that was a terrible ruling and that was pathetic so right. um and then you already have a high crime rate and you already have a high crime rate. The, the places that don't even need to be considering this are considering this but we know we don't have all we don't have all the pieces in, in the puzzle but that just still don't seem like that's the best route because listen there's so much more 
than Chicago than going to see the, the metal bean and going to have some Garrison's popcorn. There's so much more to it. So that's just that's the pretty. Then you got the rest of the world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The rest. So I just want to show this, man. We thought this was so ludicrous. I thought this was unbelievable. Yeah. I saw it pop up and I was like, yeah, right. And then people posting. I said, I want to look up and do it myself and see the research on it and see what people are saying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper, get a little bit more understanding. But, man, I mean. Yeah. Come on now. All right, man. That was that's ridiculous, man. Like always, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Snapper is back, looking like out. a blue little snacky. All right, okay. Watch it. No, come on now. Don't now. You just <laughs> you just it. messed it up with the the old lady terms. Whatever. <laughs> Watch it, sucker. No, I didn't say sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody laughing but you. Ain't nobody laughing but you. All right, man. I'll see you on the next one, man. Bye-bye. <laughs>